When you're in the really early days of recovering from a knee injury or from knee surgery, one of the things I was always taught as an NHS physio to do was to teach people to use or to activate their toes, ankles, knees, quads and glutes. And those are super, super important uh, areas and muscles to, to exercise and retrain. However, um, I think they could be taught better than I was taught to do them. So I'm just gonna run through some ideas have a play, see how you get on. So for toes, um, what we were always taught to do was just wiggling your toes like this, and that is really important and really good. So I absolutely advocate doing that. However, I'm now a big believer in uh, retraining the muscle that goes down underneath the big toe, the flexor hallucis longus. So I now like to do that with a bit of resistance. So very simply, just go to the wall. And we used to do an exercise in ballet when I was four years old called good toes and naughty toes. She did good toes pointing like a ballerina and naughty toes pulling back up. So now what I do is I get you to do good toes and naughty toes pushing against the wall. So good toes, naughty toes, good toes and naughty toes. And what this does is it um, just activates the flexor hallucis longus, the big toe muscle, such that which is the, which is the muscle that you're supposed to, or the toe that you're really supposed to push off when you walk. So it stops the flexor hallucis longus from wasting away. Super important and also keeps your brain re uh, trained in the way that flex hallucis longus should be firing. So that's that's a biggie. So toes, that's toes. Ankles, again, we just used to get taught just circular ankles like that. And that is super important. I'm not a huge, I, I don't really have an awful lot to add to that. What I quite like is making people draw the alphabet with their, with their toes. So I've got A and then a crossbar and then a B. So I quite like that, and if you can, do it with the, with the foot off the ground as well because that will get your quads working a little bit. The knees, um, what we try and do for this is to use a sliding floor or you can sort of ball up a sock and put it under your heel. But the idea of the knees is just to slide your knee up and down, just to bend the knee and get as much bend as you can in there. And you can also put a, um, a belt or a towel around your ankle and pull that knee in and that works quite nicely. Now don't force it. This is a, a really important one, um, is don't force that one too much because if, um, if it really hurts, what we're trying to do is to get your brain to trust your knee and if you push it too hard, then um, it will cause too much pain and your brain won't trust it. Um, so that's, that's less than helpful. So sort of three, four out of 10, absolute max that you're trying to get there. The other thing you can do um, for the knee is to do some knee swings. So just sitting on a table and swinging your knee like you're five years old. I've got another video on that, which I will link to, but it's just not what I'm gonna be doing sitting on the floor because it's not that handy. Uh, so that's toes, ankle, knees, then quads. Um, quads are the muscle in the front of your thigh. So there's various exercises you can do for that. Probably my favorite is very simply just trying to straighten the knee. So as you push the knee down into the ground, she says wearing a black skirt, black tights, super helpful. Um, as you can see, when my knee pushes into the ground, my heel comes up and that's getting a really nice little quads contraction there. Um, the other thing I can do to get my quads working is simply push against that wall. And as I drive my heel into the wall, I can really feel those quads working. So that I quite like as well as a, a quads exercise. And then finally the glutes, the butt muscles that you sit on. So I'm just gonna get you to squeeze your butt muscles together. And squeezing your butt muscles together is super important, but when we're using our glutes functionally, um, we don't use them together, we use them one at a time, because the glute is the muscle that, um, it's one of the muscles that stabilizes the hip as your heel hits the ground, stabilizes your pelvis. So what I then want you to do is to get you doing alternate glutes. So squeeze right, left, right, left, and just get that pattern going um, because that's what you're going to be using functionally. So there we go. That's toes, knees, toes, ankles, knees, quads, glutes, um, but in a slightly more up-to-date and functional way.